Hey friendlies, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about the full moon in Capricorn. As a Capricorn, I have a lot of senses about what it, what the Capricornian energy entails and wants to offer us. You'll notice that the cards are already laid out in front of me. <laughs> That's because I had recorded this video and then realized my memory card was full. So in an effort to be a balanced Capricorn and not give myself more work than which is necessary, I am not going to do another spread. I really like what the message was with this particular spread and we're going to keep it that way. And I'll show you for in a second when we get into this why this is so, such a good message for the Capricorn full moon. First, the card which appeared for us in the Dream Deck is the Work card in reverse. It's not just Capricorns who um, suffer from the idea of work done out of obligation. Seeing the Work card in reverse is a reminder that this full moon in Capricorn, the energy of this full moon, is revealing to us and showing us the areas where we are putting in work and effort where it is either not required, as in like we're doing too much, and or work that is no longer suitable for us, as in what feels like more meaningful work? What is it that we're really here to work on? What is our energy? What is a more effective way to spend our energy and one that ideally serves others? Like how are we contributing to society in a way that is not draining us and in a way that is not either like self-sabotaging or just not honoring who we are at our core. For the theme of the reading then we had the full moon showed up and the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles lives the manifestation. She's also the work-life balance card. How perfect is that for the full moon? In Capricorn. So again, we see themes of what is out of balance between your work and your life. Where are you giving your energy to? If it's too much into the work mode, you may be asked to look closer to um, closer to home. Cancer is the opposite sign to Capricorn, and therefore Cancer is a little bit of like the antidote. That's how I see it. I know that for me personally, I've been really leaning into. Um, Cancerian energy and the full moon card is just again it is a full moon so I love that it showed up this is the largest full moon um, so for some people this time can feel very either emotional or, or intense there may be some revelations that come to you about yourself about your purpose or about what you feel like you need to do and that word need I say very loosely because like what do we need to do is different when it's coming from a source that is outside of ourselves versus something that is like more deeply connected to your inner self and we see that theme repeated in the cards here I'm going to keep going uh, for our sacred traveler deck I pulled three of these cards here we have far away places uncovering treasure, and wise leader. This is about making decisions in your life that feel like are different, something you may have not done before, or you're uncovering something about your, you're discovering something about yourself that is leading you in a new direction. Get ready for new horizons. So this could be, you know, for some people, a shift in actual career. This could be the discovery of a personal passion that is leading you to rethink how much time, like rethink how you want to spend your time. If you're spending a lot of time do, you know, at a job or doing work that isn't fulfilling or isn't even tangential to like your life's passion, there could be like a revisiting of that. Like, um, it's asking us to undo all the ways we've been trained to serve. And by serve, I mean, you know, 
in other ways, make money. You know, this idea of success is like is, is as sim is as simple as making money is simply not true. I think success and wealth is actually doing meaningful work that is fulfilling and makes you money and sustains you. But it's not just about the money. And I know that because there is no money cards on the table. We have the Queen of Pentacles. She's the only Earth Pentacles on the table right now. And the Queens, you know, they nurture the element. So this is really about like tapping into your intuition around the kind of life that you want to lead. If the Taurus North Node, you know, which shifted earlier this year and will be there for like the next two and a half years or so, like ish ish, is making the collective realize or helping the collective to realize the things that we value. This full moon in Capricorn is showing you in the physical realm what needs to change. Um, for some people, this may feel overwhelming. And for others, it may feel just more of like an understanding that something needs to change. And then like this, there's a lot of inspiration that comes in because we have then the Queen of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Seed. The Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Sasquatch. The Six of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Chariot. The Seed and the Sasquatch are both, I mean, and the Full Moon, I guess. These are all just extra cards um, outside of the traditional Rider Waite Smith deck. Um, it's the Northern Animal Tarot. I love this deck a lot. It's probably one of my favorite decks, if not my favorite deck. I have two editions of it, and then I have, like, another deck that's been unopened that I think in the future I'd like to do a giveaway when it makes sense. Um, so if you're into possibly winning a deck or, or receiving a deck from me, make sure you subscribe and then you can know when that's happening, I guess. So the Queen of Wands, she's best friend energy. I feel like you are in a position to stick up for your ideas, stick up for your inspirations. Like the voice in your head that's telling you, man, I really want to do that. Like I, I, you know, I'm doing this right now, but why can't I do this other thing? I feel like that voice is getting a little bit of a preferential treatment right now. I don't know if it's because you've been more connected to your intuition um, or just taking a break, maybe it's a timeout or a vacation where the seed has been planted. I feel like that could be true for a number of people. Um, you might have gotten interest from other people um, asking you questions or wanting to know, um, hey, what are you up to? Or, hey, what do you think of this or that? This might be something out of the blue. And that could have maybe sparked like this interest in digging a little bit deeper to ask yourself the question, could I move into this other direction? I see a lot of wondering and questioning, but then the wise leader card shows up here, which means that maybe you have already or will very soon make a decision to move in this direction based on some um, self-discovery that is showing you there are other possibilities. There's other opportunities for you beyond the life that you currently have now. So if you're feeling stuck at all, this is very a very good reading for you. If you're somebody who has felt like you've needed to defend your position against external sort of like external energy or external forces wanting you to shift and change, this is maybe asking you to, to like set down your defenses a little bit and go more with the flow of like what is wanting to be revealed. Because I feel like if whether it's coming from within you, this is like an internal inspiration of you go somewhere, you see something, 
inspiration strikes and maybe there's like new seeds being planted for where you want to go, uh, whatever this new meaningful work is for you. Or it's coming from an external source that's all leading in the same direction. And that direction is, is balanced. It feels harmonious. It feels true to you. The King of Swords, you don't need any validation to prove that something feels like it's right for you. So it's not something you're going to be questioning yourself about once you discover it. There may be a moment of self-doubt and we all have the mo those moments. I feel like you'll know it's right when the thought will return. It'll return and it might feel like something like this is too good to be true or this feels crazy but it might work. I think that if you have the passion and the desire, this is something you're truly passionate about, it's not something that will go away easily. In fact, the more you deliberate on it, the more you think on it, you are nurturing that idea. You're nurturing um, that thing and you're bringing it closer to your life. My friend Anna told me, and I say this a lot now because I love the way that she's always bringing this up, is what you want wants you. I just love that idea of like what you want wants you. And I think that's a really important message. I know I've said it before, but for this Capricorn full moon, it's the feeling of eliminate all the extra steps. Eliminate the unnecessary baggage that we come to anticipate that comes with success. Like how do you bring that thing that you want even closer? I feel like there's support around you, even though you may feel like you need to get some distance to think on your own about what it is that you want, there's still support around you and it will come in very quickly once you choose to accept it. Otherwise, you could choose to really hone in on the um, ideas yourself, like develop your own inspiration for the thing. This is just the beginning. It is absolutely just the beginning. We have a card to end on. This is like the chariot card. This is cancer energy. This is about being balanced. This is not about blind ambition. This is not going after things for the wrong reasons. The chariot is a, it, the chariot's made of stone. And if you can see that it's like, you know, traversing a landscape, which is snow. <laughs> Even though the chariot is like the graduation card, like next level, persevering. You're not going anywhere fast. And yet, success can be instant. This is, a real, this is why I say it's like being in the mind state that what you have is like right in front of you. This uncovering treasure card, beneath the surface lies a great bounty. It's saying to go within. Look within yourself for the validation that you seek from others. Get ready for new horizons. Whatever this seed is that you're planting, I, I don't get the sense that it's brand new. I get the sense that it's something you've held on to for a very long time that is maybe growing wings. It's now, now you're maybe seeing the first growth of it. I'm getting this sense that this is somebody has inspired you or somebody has made this thing move for you. And you realize that if you had not planted that seed, it would not be moving at all. So either you're talking about it or you're sharing your dreams with somebody. But then we have the King of Swords. So it's like, yeah, you don't, you don't need to validate this idea. You more so need to sort of stick it out. Accepting help. Let's get some... Last words of advice for anybody who this resonates. The fool. The fool showed up. Yeah. The fool is a reminder to remove the parts of your identity that are created around your 
everyday life, your titles. So like whatever work you're doing now, whatever title is given to you, if you remove that, if you remove the constraints of all the labels or titles of who we are in the world based on how others perceive us, who are we really? What is the essence? What is the fool? The the kind of the kind of energy the fool embodies is this new beginning. It's really affirming that this is a new cycle. There's something more playful, more expansive about this new direction. As our final advice, we have the Eight of, Eight of Wands, Judgment, and the King, Queen, Queen of Swords. Seeing the Queen here, I definitely think that you're getting some help and or there's like a partnership on the table. Um, judgment is the crossroads of self-awareness. And the Eight is messages coming in. So again, just getting downloads or intuitive hits, messages around self-discovery. You might be learning something about yourself where you're sort of the feeling of like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I want to do, but it's not this. That, my friends, is the energy of the full moon in Capricorn. It really wants you to ask, like, what, I've, what have I been doing this whole time? And is it leading me where I want to go? Or is what I want, or is the direction I want to go in changed? Has it shifted ever so slightly. It's actually good manifesting practice to not be so attached to an outcome. And so I would find solace in the not knowing of where is this all going to lead me? I think that the best that we can all do is to stay in touch with ourselves, with how we feel, have healthy boundaries, and stay within our truth. That seed will grow into something. Keep making decisions. Oh, wise leader, that lead you closer to where you want to be headed. And I do think it's a lot closer than you think. Knight of Pentacles underneath. Yes, but more work is required. <laughs> As in more steady, diligent practice. And look, we have Capricorn showing up here. And again, the Eight of Pentacles fall or autumn. Something to say about being consistent and the developing of a new skill, or maybe it's just about realizing what you have, like your true value. And by your true value, I mean, maybe there's like hidden, like a hidden talent or something about what you know, know about or something that you are capable of that isn't getting enough credit. Maybe there's something else you can tap into and nurture. Yeah, this might be a hobby turning a hobby into something more productive, something that will actually produce coin, you know. The work card is showing up here. Got two work cards. This makes a lot of sense. I know I, I recorded this week's energy video. I like pre-recorded that one. I feel like the work card came out again. Maybe I have to go back and rewatch my own video. And I know that this one's coming late, but I'm sure that you will forgive me. I've been on an epic adventure um, traversing land that looks both like, <laughs> well, honestly, it looks like all of these cards, but like the mountain sunrise or sunset rather that we see in the four of want, four of swords and the chariot. We were definitely hiking in some snow. So I know what it feels like to move forward, even though in the 3D things feel like they're moving very slowly. Snow can slow you down a bit. But there's also something very magical about snow and about winter time in general, the feeling of winter, of keeping things close to home, nurturing yourself and loved ones. And yeah, there's there's a brand new beginning with something, with some sort of skill that you have that wants to be nurtured as well or developed further. I hope this resonates for you. Take what, you, take what resonates, leave the rest. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.